we'll do approval of minutes and chair's report later, but at this time we do have people from the public who have asked to speak. We'd like to give them an opportunity to speak. And the first gentleman who is asked to speak, and I'm make sure I got the correct Palomino? Balomino. Samuel? Again, uh, you have two minutes, and again, as you know, um, this is an open mic for us because there's no fixed agenda for you to speak to. You can speak on any issue you want to for two minutes. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, my name is Sam Bellamio, and uh, that's very thank you. Uh, that's very important that you allow for an open mic. Uh, your full council doesn't allow for it, and many other communities don't allow for it. It's not required in your uh, rules and ordinances. And uh, I beg of you to start something and move towards that direction to open public dialogue, such as what we're trying to do. The problem is, is that you are now attacking us, not you personally, but King County. We've done public requests to the executive's office, and we've been harassed while walking in there and pulled aside and telling we have to mail it in, when under rules it says that it's encouraged to bring public in to give public requests. Then I I had the detective that I made the complaint about follow me around outside when I walk around the building trying to intimidate me and now I'm restricted from going inside the executive's office. I go once a month and do a public request for his schedule because he doesn't post it on the internet and I want to hear him speak publicly which it's still a problem because he doesn't address the public uh, openly. I also have the problem with freedom of speech where you've shut the mic off on me. We've been escorted out by the police when we still have time left on the clock. And we, I, it's a continual harassment. Do you understand the problem that we are facing in America? We are collapsing. We're in a free fall. And no one is waking up. We don't have any elected officials standing up and screaming in anger or screaming with hope or with, or with an idea outside the box. And what we're presenting is an idea outside the box by having an open mic at every single council meeting at five minutes or ten minutes in the beginning just to allow the public to engage to become engaged this is something that is more important than the budget more important that everything is failing in America because we don't have tax dollars coming in because the economy is failing the Fed came out and said 40 percent of an average um, Americans wealth we've decreased 40 percent used to be 120 uh, 122 thousand a year and now it's only 77 thousand a year for net wealth of an average American and I believe uh, Seattle Council or Seattle King County Council is 135,000 a year. You make two times a year more than the wealth of an average American. We're not even talking about stuff like that. Where's the public outrage? Well, what can they do? They are going to get harassed by the sheriffs to be kicked out when they're trying to bring up issues like that. They're going to get stalked by the executive's office, detectives trying to threaten you to not come back in. It's ridiculous. And so what I'm telling you is wake up and start doing something. Thank you. Thank you for your time. On behalf of Constitution, it's very important. Record, My name is Alex Zimmerman. Yes. For the record, Alex, can you identify yourself, please? Yes, thank you very much. My name is Alex Zimmerman. I represent Stand Up America. We are an organization who advocate for poor, disabled, for senior citizen, for everybody. Who like a less, less protective classes. That's exactly what has happened right now in America. 150 million people absolutely poor in absolutely out system. And that's exactly what has happened. Uh, my personal case is very interesting because I prosecute in uh, 97 with my first class action. The government prosecute me. And right now with second class action, what is I win in last December for $100 million on behalf of 30,000 disabled people, senior citizen and caregiver. Unique class action, biggest class action in American history. Government in country prosecutor office prosecute me right now too. So to me this looks like a pure political and religion prosecution. You know what it means? It's very dangerous because it smells to me like a Gestapo or KGB. So situation what is we have right now is look to me so tyranny what is we have right now come to government people, sorry, go, people who represent government like a gangster with Gestapo principle. Is this not only about Gestapo principle or gangster, it's about Money, what does it mean? Still in racketeering money is very important. And yesterday I have another new, new, big news what is make me absolutely shocked. You know what does it mean? I think in country prosecutor office, one make a trespass to us. You know what does it mean? So we cannot ever come to this building. I don't know if it's true or not right now, you know what I mean? But this is a nightmare. Only a day about this makes me absolutely not understandable. Guys, we're speaking about constitution, we're speaking about government people who work for government or government of people who represent us would come to condition right now who are absolutely absurd. 
I don't understand what is this happen. It can be one reason only about this. It's mental condition, mental deficiency, because you cannot explain this by common sense. It's not common sense. It's something what is absurd by definition. It's not supposed to be exist in free country like United States of America, who for 200 years have a constitution what is protect freedom of speech. You cannot limitate us. You can go to two minutes, it's possible, but you cannot limitate by 100%. Please change this, change this fundamentally. Come back to America. Thank you very much. Thank you. Are there any other who wish to speak under the open mic policy of the Regional Policy Committee?